Green energy is for fools, Jerry. When are you gonna learn? Free energy is not for fools, like my friend Trish said. It's all around us. Well, okay, it's not exactly free energy. At some point, work was done to create it, so it might be better to consider it free to you energy or reclaiming energy. The challenge is to collect enough of it to be useful. If your circuit is not a 100% duty cycle, an option is to capture and store the energy until enough is accumulated to run the device for the duration or enough for peak power consumption. A classic example of this is the solar calculator. Light strikes the solar cell and charges the capacitor, while the ASIC is mostly in low power screen refresh only mode during this time. The ASIC only comes out of low power mode during calculations. In the calculator example, the custom ASIC is specifically designed to capture and manage the solar energy. If your system doesn't have this capability, there are dedicated power management chips that can do this. In this next example, I'll be using the Linear Technology LTC3588 demo board to harvest energy from magnetic fluctuations to drive an LED that will backlight an LCD. This part has some very convenient features, such as an integrated low drop bridge rectifier and a shunt regulator on the storage side, voltage comparators for power good signals, and starting the output switching regulator. Besides a few capacitors, the circuit doesn't add many more components than an existing switching regulator. Add a diode or a transistor in the storage circuit can also be driven from a battery. I'm using a standard mechanical relay, only for its coil, and placing it next to a flywheel on an exercise bike. I've attached a few rare earth magnets to the flywheel. The magnets induce a brief alternating current when they pass the coil. The power management's chip internal bridge rectifier converts this to a pulsating DC and passes it to the storage capacitor. When the voltage on the storage capacitor reaches the desired threshold, the switching regulator is started. Once the output voltage is stabilized, the power good signal is asserted. I'm only driving an LED, but one could use the power good signal to wake up an external circuit or a microcontroller. Okay, now that I have a way to light up an LCD screen, I need to find a way to power the LCD panel and a video source. I think the classic Nintendo will be the perfect video source and matches my 80s theme perfectly. The Nintendo uses an internal linear regulator, so I removed it and will be driving the 5 volt rails directly. The LCD needed a little work too. I removed components to disable the original power hungry CCFL backlight. After doing all this, I managed to get the LCD and Nintendo down to approximately 800 milliamps of current draw. To get that much current, I used a motor as a generator turned by the flywheel. By the way, hose clamps are almost as useful as duct tape. Since the voltage from the generator varies greatly and can swing from a few volts to tens of volts, I chose a wide operating range switching regulator like the LT1074. The voltage from the generator is first passed through a bridge rectifier just in case someone pedals backwards. Then it's stored in a very large electrolytic capacitor to compensate for the user speeding up and slowing down while pedaling. The switcher efficiently generates the 5 volts needed for the LCD and the Nintendo. Here's the completed exercise bike with motor generator, weak magnetic energy harvesting, Nintendo, and LCD. I'll be demoing it on a regular power TV since the LCD is too dim for my camera to get a good image. And here is with the LCD. You have to pedal very hard to run the LCD and the Nintendo at the same time. With the same LTC3588 board, you can harvest energy from vibration and flexing with a piezo element. I'll demonstrate here by tapping a piezo speaker. You will see the LED light when enough energy is stored. Here I've integrated it into an exercise device. Here's another example with a circular piezo element driving a video game. This could be integrated into the control stick and provide power for the game. You can even harvest the energy from the electric field around a fluorescent light bulb with two electrodes in near proximity. In the same linear technologies energy harvesting family is the LTC3109 auto input polarity DC to DC converter. It can operate down to 30 millivolts, also stores energy in elements like capacitors, has a power good signal, and a switching regulator. This power manager works well with thermal energy generators. 
Here I'm showing that I can run my HP 16C calculator on a Peltier junction strapped to my wrist. This has applications almost anywhere there's a heat differential. Smokestacks, windows, engine blocks. The list goes on and on. This video was sponsored by Element 14. If you'd like to contact me or discuss energy harvesting, please visit their community. Besides being a community for engineers, you can purchase parts from their store. Just click the store button on the top left of their webpage. When I posted my last video, people were telling me they were confused by a few things on the Element 14 forums, so I asked them if they could help clarify this. First, to leave comments or to get an email notifications, you have to register here. By the way, if you purchase parts, you have to register on the store side too. Here is where you join and receive notifications from a group. You can also control the emails if you feel you're getting too many emails from that group. Did you pay the electric bill? Don't worry, I can take care of this.